Wait. Wait, no, stop. Wait, 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 <laughs> stop. Wait, wait. You know what I just re you know what I just remembered? X fight means you attack four times. Not two. Oh, eight. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Impa, 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 impa. You know why? Because, like... I don't think anybody knows it. I don't think anybody knows him. Mmm, <laughs> you sure? I'm sorry. I'm, can you go back to Terra for a second? She doesn't know Ice One. <laughs> I guess not. You could just use a green cherry if no one knows him. I'm just wondering. It's 55% <laughs> to it. Surely. I mean, somebody must. Nobody does. Remedy might work, but I mean, again. And I think we decided that it wasn't true. You got 13 green cherries. They gotta, they gotta be for something. Ooh, menu. Messed up. That's yeah. Okay. That one. Another monster. The Punisher. I believe that's a staff. Why? Why would they name it? That's bizarre to name a staff the Punisher. I just want to throw that out there. It sounds like a punch weapon, but... Uses MP to inflict mortal blow. Okay. Fine. You are now done here. However, you have to walk all the way out. Which, again, kind of sucks, but good for grinding. And if you... I feel like you... <laughs> no, no, no. The episode title is X Fight to Win. <laughs> I mean, this is probably now a new episode. Oh my god. That is so dumb. I love it. Oh, you could have just done that before. What? You went before you went back and all the way around to go down those steps. But you just kind of walked onto the steps from the side. What? What's that face? Oh, did you think she was done with her Esper? No, I was going to try to warp. Nope. That I, is dumb. The, uh, the walkthrough specifically says teleport doesn't work here, so you got to trek all the way out. But you can, you know... If you're bored of it, you can always Google Charm to make it easy. But then you lose out on, like, a ton of XP. And easy XP now that you have, uh... Wait. Now that you have Quad Fight. I will say, his damage did go way down taking the Atlas Armlet off. Mm -hmm. It might actually be double. But with the amount of times he gets to attack... Yeah, it's kind of... The only other way you could do it... <laughs> you could give it to Setzer and just have him have four chances for instant kill. That's so busted. Wow. Someday... Someday I'll tell you the story of the uh, the multiplied Knights of the Round Summit. There is a uh, there's a thing in, in there's a strategy, particularly a particular set of strategies in Final Fantasy VII, where you. Uh, I guess when I said someday I'll tell you the story, that day is today. <laughs> yeah, he didn't do it all. Bye! <laughs>
I must go, my people need me. Oh my god. Hey, there you go, slow two, haste Okay, two. so she's done. She's done with that. <sighs> she's done with damn near everything at this point. Probably end up giving her pearl. You know what she doesn't know she doesn't is know Exo. Imp well, will she learn that really quickly? Almost, in, yeah, probably like before you get out of here. Also, Ice One, apparently. Sleep and mute. Muddle and imp. Oh. At seven and five, you'll probably learn those in four fights. Maybe five. Anyway. Anyway, you're saying. There's. Yeah. No, it, it's like this. In uh, in FF7, there's a summon called Knights of the Round, which I don't know the exact amount of time that it takes, but the the animation for Knights of the Round takes what feels like probably two or three minutes to finish. It's a, it is an extended thing. And there is... There is a way to spec your characters where... You can kind of, um, there's a mimic skill where you can just set someone to do like, okay, just mimic whatever the last party member did. And then there's multipliers where just like there is in this, where it's like, instead of attack four times, it's, uh, it's like, do you like use this summon twice or yeah, like double summon, like double up the, double up the, this thing. And I don't remember, it's been a long time, so I don't remember the exact specs on it. But basically, you just keep stacking those so that it's like, okay, summon. Then... Summon, then like... Then you use like... Okay... You see I that? saw that sword. That's gigantic. My goodness. It's basically you summon and then you like double, you mimic, and then you double what the... It's like you double mimic. So it's like, okay, that last person summoned. Do whatever the last person did twice. And then the next person's like, okay, do whatever the last person did twice again. Okay, do it twice again. Okay, again, again, again. And eventually you get to a point where you find an ancient text in the library, right? And that's all he has to say about that. You are now done here. That actually didn't take that long at all. So now you actually have to go down to the guy and be like, okay, we can keep going now. Oh. So TLDR, you keep using like mimic and double and mimic and double and mimic and double, and eventually. Wait, so now I have to go back. No, you're next to the airship. Oh, I don't need to continue on to the other. No, no, no. Oh, okay. You literally just had to take the castle to bump into the thing. That's what I was saying when you when you accidentally mashed through. I was like, that's fine. You have to come back anyway because you have to get back to the airship. Save. So, the end point of this long protracted story is eventually you get to a point where you're casting Knights of the Round 32 times in a row. Did and you just go get dinner? Yeah, you just go do something else for a while. Alright, I should look up what we're doing next. In the meantime, just fly around for a bit. Woo! Sick drifties, boys! Look, just look for stuff. Cool. Uh, do, 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 do. No. Stop. Ah. Okay. We need... Up, dudes. Alright. Probably a good idea for you to swap out your party members, as the ones you currently have are way strong enough for whatever you're going to need them to do. And in this case... 
I would actually advise that you take everyone's espers off, but leave their equipment on. Because honestly, I think everyone's equipment right now is exactly where you're going to want it to be. Mm -hmm. So you got you want to start thinking about like optimized builds for everyone. So then I need to just go manually take them off? Yeah, I, I would say go manually take off the espers. I think if you just go down to an empty slot. Kind of a silly way to have to do that, but I'm not sure how else you do it. Obviously, you don't have to, but like, I think you, I think you agree that everyone in this party is sufficiently strong. 40, 42 is the highest level of the person, people that I've left. That's mm -hmm. and that's Celeste. And also, you need a party... You... Should I unequip their relics? No, I'd leave the relics on. Because, okay. like, you've got everything... You've got a lot of relics. Let's go get that madman. All right, you absolutely need, for this next part, a party with Strago and Realm. The other two are optional, but this next, uh, this next event will not will not trigger without those two. Who else you take is up to you. Is it a super hard battle? I mean, it's a dungeon. Magic? Um... I don't know. Uh, I'll take Lock and Cyan. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say Cyan's probably a good choice. You haven't used very much of Edgar and uh, and Shadow either. They would probably also be good. No. But I have to put the relic on first. Oh, that's right. You have a Genji glove for him too. I forgot. But well, you've only got one of those. I mean, if you want to unequip everyone, you can. The only reason I was saying leave everyone's stuff on is because it'll save you time later when you have to equip everyone at once. I'm gonna have him in the front row. I'm Why? Put that arm let on. Why would you have him in the Oh, I guess row? I wouldn't have to because his yeah. weapons allow him to hit from the same. Well, the arm level is still double, right? His defense is really low. It is. All right, so wait. What's the good weapon that we just got for him? The wing edge. You had one, you picked up another one. So. Yeah. You just gotta be careful with that if you're fighting undead enemies because it does, it has a death effect. It's like the doom darts. Really good when you're dealing with normal enemies. But what about the... The Punisher? Yeah. It's in the middle for some reason. Should I use that? Or should I use the sword? But that... I mean... The magic power doesn't change. What's the special thing about the Punisher? Uh, it kills people. <laughs> okay. No, it, it literally it absorbs MP. Carl, <laughs> that kills people. It does. Okay. You stab um, him thirty-seven times in the chest. <laughs> so it eats your MP to to deal death damage, basically. Gold hairpin. Doesn't hurt. And then... Never hurts. Okay. 
Unfortunately. Get some sprint shoes, my friend. Who gave her the Magus Rod? Sure. For two. <laughs> I would not advise that. <laughs> Realm and Strago are definitely magic users primarily. I don't know if you're going to be hitting death spells here, but I don't know that you're not, so... Basically, you've been going through most of the game with everyone kind of having, like, top-tier equipment. Which is good, but you're approaching the point where everyone's gonna need to have, like, you, you know, you're gonna need to get some use out of the second and third tier of equipment as well. So I figure at this point, since everyone's already pretty strong, probably a good time to start. If I put two hyper wrists on him, do they stack? I guess they would stack. Right? They probably would, but I'd go with the Atlas armor first. It's on someone else. No, you took it off of uh, Saban. Oh, did you put it on? Did you yeah. put it on lock? Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, probably would, but I think I don't remember for sure, but I feel like Vigor has like a, an upper limit where like it just stops. It stops being useful at, like, a certain value. I don't know what that value is exactly. You haven't put it on anyone, but the pod bracelet is a really good relic. If you're, if you're looking for something just to give yourself a boost. Does it boost or does it just do that? Safe and shell respectively give you a one-third reduction in physical and magic damage. Particularly good since Cyan's in the front row. And should probably stay there. But he's the only one in your party who's in the front row. Oh, I, th I think I haven't done Esper's. You took Strago up into the cultist tower, so I think he actually knows quite a bit. <laughs> I mean, sure. I don't like a lot of those spells particularly, but... This is like one battle. Yeah. You might as well. Yeah, okay, he knows Ultima, which is really good. The more people in your party that know Ultima, the better off you're going to be. That's probably... Yep. As we get closer to the end, um, anyone who knows... Yep. She doesn't know much at all. You haven't used her much. She's got really good magic power. You just... You get her so late in the first half of the game, and then you get her late again in the second half of the game. You don't have a whole lot of time to really... to really build her.
Cyan isn't exactly going to be your standout magic user, but no one's learning ultimate right now. Okay. Alright, we're headed to Thamasa, which I believe is... I don't remember where Thamasa is. I want to say it's one of these ones over here. Oh, that's the Kia. Oh, hang on. No, no, go go back to the ship. That's not what I meant by hang on. I think it's that one on that little tiny island right there. All the way on the all the way in the east. Unless that's literally nothing. This is the belt, so it's not here. Oh, you know what? It might be that, you know what? It's probably that little one down there. Huh? All the way, the one I the told whale? you to go to in the corner. Yeah, this is it. Okay. No, the, the town, right there. Can I buy shit here? Yeah. Because I have a lot of money. Are you talking about items or like weapons and armor? Because at this point, I don't think any weapons and armor you can buy are going to necessarily outshine what you have available. You could buy a bunch of shurikens and ninja stars for Shadow. But I'm not using Shadow right now. But for later. one better than the other? Ninja Star is way better. Okay. <laughs> it's probably a really good weapon, right? No. No? Okay. No, it's not. It would have been okay. a long time ago. Much, you know... Much like, you know, someone would have been a good so president. So these dark hoods are actually ago. better? I only have one of them? Uh... Sh mm -hmm. This is better for some people than not for others. Well, remember, most of the people... Most of the people in your party literally have no equipment right now. So yeah, for Shadow, it's gonna be better. But Shadow has, it's, what it's showing you is a comparison against, like, it's better than literally nothing. But, well, the circlet is better for Strago and Realm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then grab them a couple. I just have all this money. Yeah. It's burning a hole in my pocket. Well, if it really comes down to it, you can always give, uh... She's wearing a mystery veil. Yeah, that's just... Well, magic defense go down, but everything else is better. Not by much. Not really. Like I said, you're at a point in the game where stuff you can buy from shops pales in comparison to the stuff you have picked up from chests and stuff. Might be better for Strago. I don't know what he's sporting right now. Right, Cap? Well, that's pretty... Aside from Vigor and Speed and a 25% max HP Magic increase. power goes up by four. Is that worth it? The other thing with the red cap is you're getting a 25% increase to your max HP. But that's why it's so high. But I mean, you do need magic power on, Stray on Strago. Yeah, we're back! It's like old times. I was gonna go in the item. Time to relax. No, relax time. Dude, I 
leaving my party. Grandpa! GG! It's terrible! Gung Ho's hurt! Who? G Gung Ho? Maybe he went a little too much, Gung Ho. That seems likely. What the hell is that? Gung Ho, wake up! I think that's a hat. Oh, okay, I was like, is that a <laughs> penguin? <laughs> Who did this to you? Who, who hurt you? Edom. The beast you and I used to hunt, I almost had it. Why did you do that? I'm dying. Just use heal magic on him, my god. You must avenge me! Music. Just heal him. Why are you hesitating? Just heal him. Well. Oh, it's because they didn't use magic. Right? No, it's because it's... Alright. You know how, like... You know how Kiryu takes, like, 700 bullets in the course of a random battle? But then, like, takes one in a cutscene and it's a big deal? Yeah. And no one can do anything? And you heal your you heal your damage by eating a rice ball, but then like when it's cutscene damage, it's different. It's that. It's cutscene injuries cannot be healed by regular magic. It's just different. Because shut up. That's that's really it. You don't think you're going by yourself, do you? Spent too many years of my life hunting that thing. It's my obsession, not yours. I mean, it's fine at all, but, like, you have three people here who can, you know, beat this crap out of it. Yeah, this obsession's gonna get you killed. You're my grandfather. I can't just sit idly by and watch you go. Capital G, Grandfather. Sorry, Ron. I'm, I'm glad you care. But Hydon is extremely difficult to find. When I go al unless I go alone, it will not show itself. Well, next up, Evans Rock. You literally don't have to go alone. All right, now you can do the other stuff you were I'm not sure why Strago was injured. Also, Strago is required to... Uh, Strago is required for this section, Realm is not. But she's already in the party, so you might as well use her. One GP per night, that's sus! Never trust cheap inns. America's best value in. Ah, <laughs> uh, I remember that day. I have stayed at a America's best value inn more than one time. Hey there. Feels like forever since the world changed. Oh my god, that hits real hard right now. Yep. It's only been it's a only year. It's only been a year, but it feels like forever. Uh Hi. So, I mean, I guess you could buy some more tents. <laughs> 44. <laughs> oh, it's happening. Okay? Mm-hmm. Bye. Okay. Alright. So go ahead and drop a save. <laughs> Alright. No, I Okay, now you're gonna go a very far distance to that island that's right next to you. The one you were just staring at. one that's on screen right now. The one right in front of me? Yep. This one? Yep. 
secret cave. Should I bring my beast friend? Wow. Uh-oh. Bloom shell. That don't look good. And it also looks like it might be strong against physical. Oh. Turns out it's fine. Is that an instant death weapon? Yes. That's yes, right, it we is. talked about that. He has two of them. Rock. No. <laughs> it's literally just a boomerang. I don't know how it is that it just... that it does instant death, but okay. So yeah, anyway, that cave. Yeah. Lantern? Can I not use the lantern? You are using the lantern. Oh. There. Choke. Okay, it's fine, I guess. Um. Why does he not know anything? I. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't actually know how it is that Strago actually learns new lore. I think he has to be hit with an attack from an enemy and then he like, and then he just sort of absorbs it. Okay, Block can take that off now. Yeah, he sure can. <laughs> Get it off now. Literally anything else, Lock. Yes. Yeah, I think Lock you took up into Cultus Tower too, so he should know most magic. I'm hungry. Hungry, 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 hungry. Feed me. Or I won't let you buy. I like to eat coral. Hand over some coral. I don't... Do I have her? No. Skin flint! Get! I gotta go find coral, I guess? I guess you gotta go find coral. No, it's in the cave. Well, the, I can't go anywhere else. Yeah, you can. Oh, hey, it's Warlock. I don't think that's Warlock. <laughs> I swear, it just looks like... Pepe. Oh, wait. Are these undead? We're about to find out. If they are undead and they get hit with an undead, like, weapon... Magic drain. Uh huh. Stench. That's poison. It's confused. Uh -huh. The smell is confusing. That was a crit. It sure was. Oh, he's back. Stunner! Give him the stunner! Stone Cold! What the hell? <laughs> I think that's one of his uh, sword techs. Yeah, but he just used it randomly. I didn't do a menu. He was confused. So he, he actually queued that up. He queued that up while he was confused and then got hit and then targeted it the right way. Otherwise, that would have probably hit you. Oh, I, I... What do I do? Hit the switch. Now go... Yeah. So yeah, just explore around all these areas. Hippocampus. Hmm, that looks undead. Well, here's how you'll know. If Locke hits it, it will 100% proc the, uh, the insta-kill thing. And then it'll, and then it'll die, and then it'll, like, come back to life. And that's how you know, that's how you'll know it's undead. What? She has the shield. How did that not hit the whole party, though? Nope. I was not thinking undead. the top is undead. Oh, the bull thing? Mm hmm Well, now he's just regular dead. 
Oh. That's undead. But also just regular dead now. One magic point. Munch, munch, munch. Burp, that was great. Bring me some more. I'm not happy unless I have plenty to eat. You shoved me. You should probably spend some time making sure there's not more than one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say there might. Okay, don't don't bother giving him anymore. You need twenty two. Oh. I was gonna say don't necessarily beeline it for the switch. Like try to check out the rest of the area, see what's see what's there. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Okay. Why did the quake do way more damage to them? And they're just weaker. Oh, hey, a warp stone. If you ever actually find a dungeon, you can use it in. Because the last two you've been in are like, no, walk. Which is probably why I didn't realize that warp was even a thing, is because the, uh, the dungeons it would be most useful in it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, so the teleporters are random. Ugh. You might consider taking off the sprint shoes in here if you're hitting the switches faster than you want to. just because you can't see where you're going. That is also undead. It sure is. Mm -hmm. You were right about it. Hey, look at his eyes. Yeah. That's a good point. Riot! Wow. Okay, Boys. that didn't do much at all. damage oh yeah that's right you're allowed to use magic without it uh, without a backfiring I mean, I want to say these aren't as strong as the monsters you were dealing with in the uh, ancient castle, but I mean, they're not a lot weaker either. I literally don't know how many coral you have now. I want to say it's like nine.
I guess, like, I guess more than anything, I would just say, like, I don't think anything in here has been particularly threatening. No. In turn, like, nothing's hitting you particularly hard. They're not as easy to kill as before. Uh... They're not as easy to kill so I guess as... I'm mashing. I guess that hits one person. How in the world is that a single target attack? I don't think anything on this uh, screen is right now. Oh, I don't know. You weren't missing any. She wasn't? No. Yep. <laughs> I love when he does the loop thing. Oh, hey, it's Pearl. damage, honestly. Taunting me with these warp stones. I mean, at this point, you, you have to be able to use it in here. Otherwise, it's just silly. No. Oh. It's getting pretty close. I don't think that's undead. I think the green thing isn't, and the other two are. Because yeah. they would have automatically used that. Yep. Right? I feel like bolt pretty good damage. I'd say so. That was only bolt two. somehow did less. But I think that's just the difference in I spread realms. it over two different, or maybe... Hmm? No. I mean, next time you see him, maybe talk to him, because I think you're close. Um, life? I mean, that's a, that's a strat. It's definitely dead. I mean, look at it. Bye. That was terrifying. It was cool, though. It was definitely cool. Three more pieces. You're really close now. Oh, that's very pleasant. 